third year here at CES at Kids at Play, where we um, are telling the industry, loud, clear, no bones about it, that our children are the future of the digital users in this world, and without the, building the right things for them, and thinking about the right things for them, and talking to them, and th having their best interests at heart, we're giving them nothing. And for all the digital things that we're giving them, what goes along with it? We have tremendous power in our hands, in this audience, and at this show, and um, CES recognizes that. So, um, and I uh, decided to just keep on growing. We now have seven shows here, all devoted to different lifestyles of computing, because being digital means it's a very personal thing to people now, no matter what age they're at. So some of you can come to the Boomer Show um, later on this week. But I abdicated my role as MC and gave it to the absolute best person I could think of, and that's Warren Buckleitner. I don't know. I don't even know what abdicated means, but I think that's good. And except that I asked him to have a keynote and a visionary. And I know. Well, everything came together really well. Trust me. I mean, I, everyone who came and. You know, I want you guys to just look around for a second and pinch yourself because you are at CES. You're at the world's largest consumer electronics show, and it's 2010. We're seven days into 2010. And it's a really, it's one of those times that you'll always look back on and say, I was around during this time. It may not feel like it right now, but history is being made. And so that is one of the reasons I accepted, I abdicated. Uh, this uh, job, and um, to, to think about, like, okay, we've got this time in history and this place, the time and the place. It is in Las Vegas, but we can work with that. Um, and uh, let's see who we can bring together. And so I would like to thank everybody who said yes to come today, all of the speakers. We have a brilliant lineup from the top levels of government and academia, uh, you're going to hear the first take on some research studies. Uh, we are going to get a picture of what technology, what technology can do for the life of the child of the future. And so uh, I'm really eager to learn about that. And so all we need is a proper visionary. Well, let's give it a shot, Robin. I know, because it all came together. I'm going to plug it in. There's a PC right here running Windows 7. It's the new one. Oh, auto-recognize. That's good. Go ahead. Give it a pull. Does anybody remember this bottle? Has anybody ever seen it before? The Mattel teeny in a bottle? Just please get Warren out of this mess he's gotten us into, and please find me a visionary. A proper one at that. That's right. What's going on, Warren? Do you feel anything? Any tingles? Feel some electricity. Maybe. Pink. Pink. Corn. Oh, <laughs> Jeez. Again, the stupid thing didn't work. Oh, I've been fighting with. Maybe Windows 7 wasn't what we should have tried. Like, should I try OS 10? In the, I, this? I told you there was a Windows joke in there. I told you. <laughs> I got a yeah. tablet. Look, I'm going to try. Let's try it. Let's try this. Because we're running out of time here. I need a visionary. Now would be a good time for the vi really, really now would be a time for the visionary to arrive. <laughs> Think visionary. Think visionary. Visionaries like their coffee. Maybe if we played a movie about the visionary. I'm waiting for a bus. I'm going to go in and see J.P. Dyson over at the Strong Museum of Play. I, I got a whole bunch of old things to, to give me. I'm cleaning up. I mean, this is the 21st century now, Rob, and I'm getting rid of my old I know. New software reviews. Look at this. I'm gonna, oh, you can't get rid yeah. of that. <laughs> Why? Because I, mean, I was the editor. Because <laughs> it's, it's paper. Oh, look what else I got. Remember this? Oh, my God. I do. Yes, this I think was, these are actually LEDs. This was before USB. Just a glimmer in somebody's eyes. Anyway, it's off to the museum with all these things. Robin. Let yeah. me ask you the yeah. most important question. Yeah. How's it going? How's kids at play coming along? 
Oh, I was you afraid you're gonna ask that, Rob. Yeah, like two weeks. Ah, uh, I know. It's it, you know the whole agenda has come together nicely, but I still don't have a keynote speaker. You mean you don't have a keynote? Speaker? I don't. I I just can't think of anyone. I mean, I need a visionary. I need somebody uh, who's there. At the I don't beginning. know about those visionaries. <laughs> so let's take. First of all, we got this great. It was never much fun as computer play, but what if you don't think? What if it would finally work? I come up with a visionary. I'm Maybe. telling you, I've so run out of ideas. Why not? Okay, give, mean, it, give it a whirl. You I'll, got the magic touch. I'll plug it into my iPhone. Okay. And uh, maybe that uh, OS 10 will do it. Yeah. Yep. I wish I could get a keynote speaker for kids at play. Okay, I'm feeling something. Can I, may I? Go oh, ahead, yeah. see, see if anything happens. Oops. Uh, no, not even one. Not even cheap one. Uh, take it back to the lab. Okay, that's not working. Oh, well. So we gotta. What are, we gonna, what, are we gonna, what are we gonna do, Robin? Send me a sign. I need an idea. Computer visionary. Do you have an answer? No, no reason. No? No. What does the child of 2040 look like? Model. Robin. Robin. We're not looking for purses, we're looking for genies. Oh, I think you're gonna find one right here. <laughs> do you have an idea? Who are keynotes? By trying different sizes of things, we realize it should be really thin, should be light, it would have a stylus for drawing on it, um, wireless network, flat screen display, keyboard, and all that stuff. So this is kind of the thing I used to hold up back then of what computers should be like. It was kind of, if you could have what you wanted, what should it be like? In my image here, was the children would be able to play collaboratively games on it, and especially games that they could make themselves. And I wanted to be, to, for it to be able to do all the things you could do with a book, but be dynamic. Well, those words ring very loudly today. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Alan Kay. You're priceless. Thank you. Thank you so much. All I can say is they don't make um, they don't make these like they used to. I was hoping for at least Barbara Eden. And uh, the other thing I want to know is that uh, that garbage guy in New York. I want to I want to meet him because he looks like he has pretty good ideas the kind of guy you want to run into. OK, so um, I'm going to give a talk that is about issues, um, because the conference is uh, about this general topic. And uh, I'm also going to try and set up uh, some context and maybe some ideas for the panel to address after this talk. And the talk is uh, in the form of, of ideas. Uh, unfortunately, some of them are sequential, which I usually try to avoid when I give a talk. And so I'm going to put some effort into